In this quick and short video, we will understand the difference between data frame show function versus collect function and what query is executed by Snowflake when these actions are invoked from your data frame object. We have already covered show function in our previous chapter and this chapter will primarily talk about the differences between these two important functions. Both are action on data frame object and both are expensive. And if we know what happens at Snowflake side, we will learn how to use these two actions effectively. If you come from a Spark or a PySpark background, this function will look very familiar to you. And here we will also see the difference between Spark collect versus Snowpark collect function. Welcome back to my channel Data Engineering Simplified. Let's jump to our VS Code without wasting any time. I am in my VS Code editor and this is my show versus collect snowpark program. This is my import statement. Here I am establishing a connection. Line number 20 creating a session object and I have a customer table which has close to 1 million record and I have specifically selected this customer table because it has a large number of data and we will see the behavior of collect function when there is a large amount of data. Now this is my show function and these are my input parameter for my show function and this is my collect function. So by default collect function does not take anything and we will see what SQL query is executed when we invoke this collect function on data frame object. Before I execute this snowpark program, I have specified the query tag test1 and test2 and this query tag is being passed as a part of a show function so we can understand when we go to our query activity. Now let's run this program and I am also printing the different time before and after the execution of each function. So 225618. So it has printed just first five record. Now my collect function is invoked and the collect function is started at 22, 56, 21. And let's see how much time does it take. I have total 1 million rows in this customer table. And the time printed is 22, 57, 15. So it took close to one minute to fetch entire 1 million rows into my console. Let's go back to our query activity and see how does it look like. I can see here test01 which executed select star from a customer with limit 5 and after that it executed select star from a customer and it took 61 millisecond to execute this select statement. However, it took close to 1 minute to complete the collect statement at snowpark site. If you look into the show function, it returns none. However, if you look into the collect function, it returns list of row. Let's quickly modify this program. And this time I am putting a limit to 10 because if I put 1 million, it will take little longer than expected. So I am just changing it to 10 and here I am giving 3 and this is 4 and I can also pass this my param collect as a statement parameter to my collect. So this collect function takes couple of extra input parameter and we'll see them one by one. So the element type says that it is a snowflake snowpark row row type. It is trying to mimic the spark API. And now if I have to print all the element, let's quickly do that. If you try to print all the element, since all the individual columns are wrapped in a row object, this is how it will come. And you can see a clear difference between show function versus collect function. However, there are cases where you really want to access the collect function because, because collect function wraps all the row item in a row object and you can transform that row object into a dictionary. And this is how you can do that. So this is your dictionary object and if you want to perform certain operation on this dictionary object, you can always do that. So this is the primary difference between your show function on data frame which return a none object and the collect function which returns a list of row objects. The collect function takes another input parameter called case sensitive. Let's see what does it bring. 
by default this value is true and when we give input false let's see what happens when we specify case sensitive value equals to false all the column header appears as a lower case rather than the upper case and there are scenarios where you would prefer to get lower case of your header than the upper case the next input parameter is block and we are not going to discuss because this needs a separate discussion log no exception is also false and if i make it true let's see what happens since i have not got any exception this parameter has no impact on my output now you have a clear understanding what are the input parameters taken by show function and what are the different input parameters taken by the collect function and what is the core difference between these two functions since collect is an action it executes all the data frame operations and make sure the data frame data is available in your local machine so use these two data frame functions with extra care if you look into spark collect function this is how the contract looks like it does not take any input parameter and it returns a list of row object snowpark takes one optional parameter called statement parameters it returns a list of row object however the data type of a row object is very different in snowpark versus spark you can download the sample code as well as snowpark cheat sheet refer the description link for the instruction For any additional queries or specific question, feel free to drop a note in the comment section or drop a note in my Instagram account. Thank you for watching. Happy learning and keep growing.